Hi friends, we are continuing surface automation in Blue Prism RPA. So in this video, we are going to see like the training application and an object model. And the Blue Prism have defined, designed and developed an application exclusive for the training for surface automation training purpose. Though this application will be accessed as a thick client, this course will develop an interface that uses regions so rather than Windows controls. So this is an interface that would be used to control thin client applications and the more challenging controls within thick clients. So we'll start the thin client training application and login and we can use whatever login name and we wish and this will be the same this will be the password for example let me type let us select like Adi and then R. so login then go to file and log out. Okay, in order to familiarize this application, familiar with this application, so it's it's in a folder. See the surface automation self setup, it's in a folder. Suppose you just if you copy this application and then paste it on somewhere, and then if you if you try to open, so it can't open because it requires a database. Or else we can create a shortcut for this one. Just give a right mouse click and click on send to and send to desktop, then so we can work with this application right this application works fine as in .exe file so now we are creating an application model for this one let me create one business object for this uh, surface automation application let me assign a name for this one like let's say like a you know, thin client application the next and finish so open the business object go to application molder and then Click on next and choose the Windows application and select the first radio button that is my application is launched from an executable file and then browse an application then choose it so it's an .exe file click on next and then so finish so by using application model we can define an application model or an object model so let me click on launch so application is open So let me assign a name for this one like let us select log in screen and click on identify if I press alt button will switch in between like various modes so region win32 accessibility etc okay let me choose like a region mode now i'm going to capture this application so close it now the blue prism is captured the entire application along with attributes of an application and let me capture in the form of like you know, regions so drag in a diagonal shape now it's created like regions and you can see in appearance the visible is true and the font the identification and the region like uh, these are the like coordinates I'll set a name for this one let's say like you know, user name so that is input Then click on apply and OK. Now you can see the like coordinates, sorry, attributes for this one username. And if I click on like a match, the selected attributes will come to the top, will call like a fingerprint. And let me repeat the same procedure for all other objects. Now, now I'm creating another region. Region 
and then drag in a diagonal shape. So rename it password. It's also input from keyboard. Then click on apply. Then let me create one more region. Now I'm capturing the login button. Then apply, then OK. So if you observe here, this application contains date, month and year. So that like you know, even though elements spy successfully, the window text attribute that will match on contains the date in the title that is blue prism training date month and year so it's an attribute that contains a dynamic data that will cause your elements to not be like you no know, use we can't use in future dates for this purpose so we need to match the window text attribute as a, like a wildcard instead of a date and we'll change this one so in login window you can see like a blue prism training and the date month and time and then let me change it to like wildcard means it's dynamic then keep in double quotes so put in start so we'll accept any date it doesn't matter you know even if we can use like a, we can use this uh, we can run this one in future dates also so here i'm giving the description so even the elements spy successfully the window text attribute the will match and contains a date in the title. That is date, month, and year. So, this attribute contains so dynamic data. So that will cause. The elements so to not be useful to future dates. So that's why we need to match the window text attribute. So we'll, we can use wildcard expression. So instead of date instead of text now here I am changing this one for everyone so I login screen already I change if I mention star means like it works for any date and go to username then 
let me change it to wildcard then it ends with the asterisk and go to other one and let me change it to like a match type is an wildcard and login and change it to wildcard and ends with the asterisk right. and apply then okay okay please stay with us we'll continue uh, surface automation thank you for watching if you really like it you please subscribe it